Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Thank you so much for coming by if you're new. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom of four and I share all about our homeschooling life, mom life, um, encouragement, practical tips, all the good mom stuff, as well as some travel things and just whatever really I feel like sharing here on my channel. So today we are going to do a day in the life video. However, this day in the life is going to be different than previous day in the lives because Usually a day in the life I start in the morning and I end at night. Well, we're gonna do a 24 hour day in the life. So we're gonna go from the day previous almost to the night to the next night. And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I wanted to include some, I know a lot of you guys, when we got our travel trailer last summer, at the end of summer, if you guys are new, uh, we purchased a travel trailer and I have videos on it and everything. Um, we only got to use it twice before um, camping season really ended. Um, everything else in the area through the holidays, we knew we weren't gonna be really going on, you know, travel trailer adventures, and then it was like the heart of winter. We did have some trips booked, but this has been a crazy winter, and it's been really weird where we are too out west, and so, um, the weekend we were gonna be gone at a very highly rated, difficult to get campsite um, in Zion National Park, it snowed there. And if you have a travel trailer, you know that unless you pay for that treatment where your pipes can't freeze, which is really not necessary where we are 99% of the time, so we didn't do that, then it's dangerous to go somewhere where it's going below freezing at night. So. All that to be said, we haven't taken the travel trailer out since last September. So this is gonna be our first trip of 2021 and I wanted to document it and I wanted to show you guys how I prepare um, because a lot of you guys are like, oh, we're saving, show us, like that's so exciting. So we're gonna be going to Death Valley National Park. Um, if you know anything about Death Valley, it is one of the hottest places in the world, I believe, and it also has it is the lowest point below sea level in North America. I think I'm saying that right, or in the United States. So there's a lot of really cool um, stuff to be seen there. We've never been, so we are going to Death Valley because the prime time to go to Death Valley is in the winter because it's like 70 degrees there. In the summer, it can get up to like 130, and so obviously you can't sustain being there. So we are excited to go. So we are gonna be taking a long weekend, a Friday to a Monday to go explore Death Valley. Traveling like this, visiting national parks is very much a part of our homeschool and just our family life. Uh, we really value this. And so I wanted to show you guys how I prepare. So obviously I am starting to prepare today, which is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be the major preparation day and then Friday we're leaving. So I like to have everything done beforehand. Um, my husband is the one who goes and picks up the trailer from our storage facility, parks it out front for me to get all ready and I do the predominant getting ready of all the kids, getting all the food, making sure we have everything we need. That's my responsibility. So I wanted to include that in this video for you guys. So today is Wednesday, like I said, I'm getting um, laundry all done because when we come back, there's always more laundry because it's like four days worth and so I like to make sure that my laundry room is already emptied out otherwise it can go from like four loads to ten loads really quickly and then I'm doing laundry like forever so anyways I like to make sure the laundry's all done we're finishing up our homeschool day um, today right now on Wednesday so um, I'm gonna show you guys what we do later tonight and then we'll roll until tomorrow, which will be Thursday, the day before we're leaving. So if you enjoy seeing travel trailer, camping, preparing, day in the life videos, give me a thumbs up because like I said, we are gonna be doing a lot of trips this summer and I'm trying to decide how much of that I wanna share on my channel. Um, part of it is do I feel like filming when we're traveling and part of that is do you guys want to see it so let me know if you guys want to see it um, now the other thing I want to mention is that today's video is sponsored by Built Bar I've been talking about Built Bar for the last few months because they are my absolute favorite protein bar and of course going camping is no exception 
I am going to be packing my built bars and bringing them with me. I've got a whole box of peanut butter downstairs ready to go into the trailer once it gets here. So I will show you guys more about that later. But if you've never heard of Built Bar, I will briefly tell you about them. So they are a protein bar that tastes absolutely delicious. It tastes like a candy bar. The texture of the inside of Built Bars is so soft and chewy. It is not chalky and grainy and gross like a lot of protein bars. Another huge reason why I recommend Built Bar to you guys is because of the calorie and the sugar content. If you eat other bars, you might be thinking you're doing your body a favor by having a protein bar and you might be surprised to see that there can be upwards of 30 grams of sugar in those. Also, some of those bars can be 400 calories, which is like almost eating a meal. So it's important that when you choose a protein bar, you're choosing one that is lower calories, high in protein, has some fiber, and those are the things that I really look for in a protein bar, but also taste. So I'm gonna be packing Built Bars for Jake and I for our weekend out. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that I have a coupon code for Built Bar down in my description box, and it's a generous coupon code. They are always coming out with new products, and I've heard from you guys, because a lot of you have used the coupon code, that you can try other things as well, and the coupon applies to all of that, so it's a really good value. So be sure to check out Built Bar and use my link that's down in my description box if you guys want to try them out. They have 18 flavors, and I've never tasted one I didn't like that I I actually thought was disgusting of course I have my favorites but they're all really good so one that I just recently tried was I think it's cherry it's got a name but it's the cherry one that one was really really good um, my the almond one is still my favorite and if you need to be nut free there are nine options for you as well so be sure to check out my links for built bar but I've got my box downstairs you guys will see I'm gonna load up the trailer with all of our food and built bar will be going right into the pantry in the trailer once it arrives, but I wanted to do this intro and explain everything. So we are gonna be filming for 24 hours from Wednesday early evening to Thursday early evening getting ready for this trip, and I hope you guys enjoy preparing. So here's everything that I've set out that we already had, a bunch of drinking water, built bars of course. I misspoke, caramel brownie is coming with us. So here they are. You get 18 bars in a box. These ones have 17 grams of protein, 130 calories, and they are so good. I've had this flavor before. So all the good stuff up here, four net carbs, four grams of sugar. So bringing that, have some leftover um, little half and halves that don't need to be refrigerated, some LaCroix. Um, this was like a pantry stock up item that I bought a ton of back in last March And so we're gonna start eating some of it So I thought I would bring some soup and crackers for the kids for lunch one day um, Now what you guys are gonna see is that my whole island is covered with clothes. So what I do is I make one list and then everybody takes the list and brings me their pile. I verify that they have everything ready. Um, we are not packing suitcases. That's what we have the trailer for. And I have clothing bins for everybody inside the trailer. So this is just a weekend trip. So everybody's clothes should fit where we keep clothes. If um, like in the summer when we go on like a two week trip, we're obviously gonna have to bring a suitcase, put it in the car and then take things out and put dirty things in and kind of do a little swap. But my kids pass this around, they bring me everything. I double check that it's all there. So the island's covered with clothes waiting for the trailer to get here um, tonight. It's seven, we just had dinner. So Jake went to go and get it and um, yeah, so that's how we do the clothing thing, and then the kids, I'll give them their bin and then have them bring it inside, fill it up, and then bring it out into the trailer. We'll put all that stuff in there, and um, in the morning, I'm picking up our grocery order that is specifically for the trailer. I find that it's easiest for me to just do a grocery order specifically for the trip rather than going through my fridge and trying to, like, figure out what I want to make and take things out. I just will leave whatever's in there in there and 
just do a grocery pickup for just the days that we're there then when we get back we'll have food you know and if we were going to be gone a long time of course i would clear all that out of the fridge but i still would do a grocery order just for the trailer it's just easier that way so i just get everything i need for the meals so literally in the morning when i pick up the groceries i'm going to put things that need to go in the refrigerator in the refrigerator but everything else i'm just going to put out into the trailer right away that's the perks of a trailer no coolers good morning guys it is thursday now 7 30 in the morning and i am getting grocery pickup um it's got it scheduled before we would start school so we're not cutting into any school time yet although i do plan on taking a shortened school day and i'll show you guys what i generally do when i need to shorten up our school day for whatever reason but i don't want to just not do any school work altogether so i'll show you guys that but my grocery order is coming out so i'm gonna go ahead and um open up the trunk but i wanted to start off the day in the life here 7 30 grocery pickup Maybe there's something I don't see Could you just Shed a little light Shed a little light Shed a little light on me Shed a little light Shed a little light Shed a little light on me Why'd you go And leave me here all alone In the shadows Could you just Shed a little light Shed a little light Shed a little light on me all right, so we got our fruits down there. We've got the pantry pretty stocked up with um, things that obviously go in there. It goes really far back, so you can see it's all filled. And I'm keeping the refrigerator closed. Um, in the summer, wow, it takes two days to get it to the temperature we needed. But at night, in the winter, it's at the temperature we already needed, so that's great. So got that all filled up. Got our water in last night. I'm, we're not gonna need this whole thing of half and half, so I'm gonna put it in something else and then put that in the fridge. And then I got two things of eggs on accident. So we'll just keep those in the fridge. And got the all the food put in the trailer now. Just finishing up with the dog food. You can close the garage, bud. And we are gonna start our school day. Um, the kids have just finished up their chores. So when we need to take a short in school day, we still do um, our read aloud, one of them, and then our Bible time. So that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. Then I'll have the kids go upstairs and do language arts and math and reading. So those three main subjects. And the re part of the reason why we're taking a short in school day is because we have our presidential presentations at our friend's house later this afternoon. So um, they all chose a president that they researched themselves and then they get up in front of our other homeschool friends. It's just a small group of us, um, two other moms with their kids, and they present. I actually have a highlight saved on Instagram where I talk about what we do here. This is just something extra we do um, together as homeschool moms to give our kids practice of doing research, standing up in front of an audience and speaking and presenting clearly because those are important life skills. Um, so I have a whole highlight saved on Instagram if you guys are interested in what we do we do a variety of different topics and we've done it this is our second year now we do one presentation a quarter and so it's a really it's been a really good and fun experience for them and a great addition to our are going on a trip um generally we have some last minute things we need to do at night and so i like to have something really easy for dinner so i think i've shared this with you guys before but i thought i'd share it again in case um you're new or you haven't seen it before so what i did is i just put a whole bunch of fresh spinach minced garlic two cans of um, diced tomatoes, some pepper um, in the crock pot, and then I'm gonna add two things of this organic chicken broth, and then normally you would add two cans of cannellini beans, the white ones, but the store was out or something, and so I didn't get them. So we're making do with what we've got. And then you just let that cook, it creates like your broth, and then you add, um, frozen cheese tortellini to it and then top it with Parmesan cheese and it's 
we call it tortellini soup, but it's like so easy and it's really good and um, nice because you can do it in a pot if you had time um, to just make it you know, quickly or you can let it be in the crock pot all day so that it's ready for you. So getting that going really quick before we start school. It is 11 now and um, my oldest is just finishing up math. I came downstairs to make some lunch. I cooked up a bunch of like those homemade tortillas so I wanna use those. So we're, they're gonna have quesadillas for lunch. I am snacking on a Bilt Bar because I was getting really hungry. This one is the salted caramel one. Super good and I love the inside. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about like a candy bar texture on the inside. So I'm having this while I make their quesadillas. It's 11 and then we will leave. I of course have a few stops to make on the way over to my friend's house for presentations, but we're making good time and getting everything done that I needed to accomplish today. Okay, so it's about 12.45 now and we just pulled up in front of my friend's house where she hosts presentations. Um, my other friend does parties and then I do tea time. So we've kind of gathered together as homeschool moms to create some fun things for our kids this year. And I share that for no other reason than to show you guys that you don't need a large community or a large organization. It can be as simple as one other homeschooling family or two. And we've actually found that we like that a lot better. So the kids all have their boards. Hold them up. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, do you guys enjoy doing presentations? Yes. yes. Say your honest answers. Yes. 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 You do? A little, little nervous at first? Yeah. A little <laughs> so, they're going to do their presentations, and then today we're actually doing our Bible study. Um, we're th these are the same friends that I do like um, Bible studies with. I've been sharing this book a lot recently because that is what we're um, reading together, Anxious for Nothing um, from John MacArthur. So we've got all that together and you guys can see the kids have their backpacks for sports because um, straight from here we're going to have to go to practices. So busy day, but we're going to head in and get these presentations done. Person alive, he had two daughters. He was the oldest in his family. He, had, he married a girl named Patricia. Not to be confused with... Patrika. Patrika. That's how she was reading it all week. <laughs> Funny fact, him and his wife loved bowling so much they had a bowling area at the White House as a law student, Nixon broke into the dean's office at Duke University to check his grades. Political. Political accomplishments. He focused with the people called war tensions with China and the Soviet un Union. He ended the Vietnam War childhood. His dad owned a store and after school he worked there. Richard also, also played football at college. Eighteenth president of U the USA and he is in the Republican Party. He, his term years were from 1869 to 1877. And I chose him because not many people even know he was a president. And his personal life was, he married Julia Denton, she was cross-eyed. That means that when she's looking at something, she 
her eyes are like moving around and stuff. He died on July 23rd, 1885. He had four kids, three boys and one girl. And here are some funny facts about him. A circus director once tried to unhorse him by throwing a monkey at him. <laughs> and he was stopped for speeding on his horse twice. Whoa. And his political accomplishments were he fought for the 15th Amendment. He signed the Four Force Acts that gave African Americans the right to vote. The 27th President of the United States. His term was from 1909 to 1913. He was a Republican, and his nickname was Big Bill. He was a political heavyweight. Okay guys, so it is 4.30 now. The kids finished up their presentations and we finished up Bible study. I just dropped off my son at swim practice, had a bag of donations that I just dropped in the donation bin and now we are headed to soccer. So I knew this day was going to be a full busy day so I packed a bunch of snacks in our bag and had the kids bring everything with them. Got my protein shake to hold me over until dinner and so just mom life getting everybody where they need to go, but super thankful that things here are starting to pick up again with practices and sports and all the stuff that has been so modified. Just happy for every ounce of normalcy we get. Back. All right, you guys, we just got home at 6.30 now and we are about to have dinner. Jake filled up the trailer with water while I was out running around because he got home from work early um, and I was still out with the kids. So that's one thing. When you're going um, out with your trailer and you don't have hookups for power, water, etc., you have to fill that up before you leave. So he got that filled up. So the trailer is all ready for us to go. Clothes inside, food inside, water inside, drinking water inside. Everything else is already in there. That's the beauty of it. So we can just pack up the dogs and head out tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, so we're just gonna have dinner now, the soup that I made earlier today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Day in the Life video. Be sure to check out the links to Built Bar down in my description box if you haven't ordered yet. Take advantage of my coupon code and give me a thumbs up for Day in the Life videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me, post them down below and I'll get back to you. And I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye guys.